What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of the Tin Horse Money YouTube channel. And today I want to talk about how to wrap your rods for transportation as a co-angler. I know there's a lot of BFLs and stuff starting back up, a lot of co-angling opportunities. So I wanted to do a little short video just to show you how I wrap my rods when I'm transporting them into the boater's boat in the morning of the tournament. He's out of Jackson, Missouri. His name is Gabe Montgomery on the co-angler side. How about fifth place? Just over a thousand dollars. They had 19. No, they had 1961. Greg Landon, Dave Montgomery. Good job, guys. Another punch. Got it. start with just five rods typically that's what I'm going to be carrying um, five to seven rods but five is a lot easier so we'll go with that um, I've got rod sleeves on all five of these rods and what you want to do first of all is you want to take your reel handles and you want to make sure that your reel handles are horizontal with your rod blank so you want them to be set up like this you certainly don't want them to be like this because it'll mess up the stacking process so you want them to be like this. So once you get all five of your rods lined up like that, got all your rod sleeves on there, you're gonna stack them. So what you do, let me put these down here, right here real quick. This is pretty straightforward. And you know, while we're talking about this, if you guys have done this before and you have a better way of doing this, please leave comments in the comment section and please subscribe to the channel. Um, like it, share it on social media, hit that little bell notification so anytime I'm dropping content, you'll be the first to know. I'm trying to drop it, trying to grow this channel as big as I can, and I can't do it without your help. So I I really appreciate all the support. Um, but if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. So we've got these rods, and what you want to do is you kind of want to stack them. Here's the reels. So you want to stack them like this. You're kind of alternating these back and forth like this so it's a little bit tricky the first time you do it, it's kind of weird it takes a little bit to get used to so you're making this shape right here so you've got your real handles they're all pointing different directions north south east and west okay so this is what we're left with and then you've got this fifth rod and what you do with this fifth rod is you just kind of little find a little home for it just kind of slide it slide it down in here just kind of loosen things up a little bit and it'll kind of find a place for it. So everything's fairly snug, okay? So now let's go back up to the top here, okay? We've got to get our rod wraps. So these are just neoprene rod wraps. You can buy these um, at a lot of different places. These just happen to be from Academy. Um, they're, they're kind of stretchy. They've got Velcro, pretty straightforward. These are rod glove wraps and these came from Academy. They're like six bucks or something like that. No big deal. So you've got a short one. And you've got a long one okay now the short one's gonna go up on the top first thing I do is I want to wrap these tips so I'll come up here I'm just gonna wrap these rod tips wrap them around fairly tight you know just nice and snug got a good connection right there so now I'm gonna go back down to the bottom here kind of get your kind of get your rods kind of squared up again they've kind of loosened up a little bit but that'll work. So traditionally, most people will wrap them right here, but I found that you can wrap them around the butt section. It seems to work a whole lot better. So you kind of just hold them with your shoulder and your neck, and then you just want to come in right here and you want to kind of squeeze these really tight, put a lot of pressure on them. And that makes a nice compact package. And you really know if you've got them good, if they'll, if they'll stand up vertically like that, it's not magic. There's no strings attached <laughs> voila so that's that's nice and secure it's easy for transportation um, you can grab them right here and I'm typically going like this if I need to go one-handed I can hold it like this um, but if I'm going up and down stairs or through tight hallways I usually use two hands through doorways or something if like you've that. come up with a better way to transport your rods please uh, leave comments in the comment section that way um, I'll know and then everybody else that watches this video will have um, a better idea of the most efficient way to do that. And as far as transporting them, um, you can just grab them 
pretty much like this and go. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Probably grab them a little bit lower for better center of gravity. Um, sometimes I will grab one hand on the butts and one hand up towards the tip. And especially if I'm walking through tight spaces, like say I'm trying to go up and downstairs in a hotel room or just squeeze through the doorway. But um, it, it seems to work really good. It's nice and simple. So when I get in the boat with the boater, I will most of the time unwrap my rod wraps and pull all my sleeves off. And other times I will just wrap, wrap the rod wraps on there and not use my sleeves at all. Well, that's kind of that's just one less step you have to do. Either way, it's not that big a deal. You can just wrap them up and put them in your um, in your gear bag or whatever. So that's a wrap, guys. Appreciate this. I hope this helps. Um, please subscribe to the channel. Um, trying to make this sucker grow. Hit that bell notification. Bell notif b b b b bell notification. Share it on social media. Till next time.